Today we'll look at how you can blur a background in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. Now, as with many of these techniques, the first step is to select your subject. In this example, I want the person to stay in focus and the background to be blurred. I'll click the selection brush over here and I'll zoom in and I'll select the person. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because we can alter it later. I'm holding Alt to undo selections. So if I select too much, like this space here between the legs, I'll hold Alt and then click in there and it'll unselect it. And now I'll make a mask. So I'll click mask layer. And now the person is cut out here. Let me drag out the mask up here. I'll turn it off. What I want to do now is duplicate this layer. So with this layer selected, I'll just press Control C, Control V. I'll call this top one the person. And I'll just leave the background the same. And I'll drag the mask onto the person layer here. Now I'm going to hide the person layer for a second. What we want to do is remove the person from our background layer. Because if we leave them there, when we blur it, it's going to show that person around our person on the top layer. So with the background layer selected, I'm going to add a pixel layer. I'm going to select the In Painting Brush tool. And I'll make sure it's set to current layer and below up here. Very important. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on the person. Then I'll let go and the person is gone. Now, typically you want to be very careful when using this tool. You want to make sure that the area filled in actually makes sense. But because the person is going to be covering most of this and it's going to be blurred anyway, we'll be allowed to get away with a little more inaccuracy. So on our person layer, let's go there and add in the mask. Now let's add the blur filter. That's a type of live filters. I'll click on my live filter here. And the most basic blur is all the way at the top, the Gaussian blur. So I'll click that. Now make sure it gets added into the right place. I'll take the Gaussian blur out here and I'll put it above my pixel and background layer. That's my in painting layer. And now I can increase the radius. So I'll do it really extreme so you can see the effect. This is what's happening to our image here. So let's put it somewhere in that two pixel, three pixel range. I think there is pretty good. So we have before, after before, after. Now when you do this, you're probably going to notice some inaccuracies with your mask. I can see the legs down here didn't come out too well. So I can select my mask. I can click a brush and you can clean up things as you like. So I'll just clean up the legs a little bit here, down over here. And obviously the more tension you put into this part, the better your result will be. Now something you'll probably notice is that the bottom area looks kind of unnatural because we have the blur effect taking place right next to our person. So what you want to do is find the area near your person and mask out that blur effect. So with the Gaussian blur layer selected, I'll add a mask. Then I'll select my brush. I'll choose something soft and I'll set it to black or some type of gray. And I'll just paint this part back in. You could use a selection brush for this. Also, you could select the roof and then mask it out that way. I'll get part of the bottle too. So now the roof looks a little more natural and connected to our person before, after, before, after. And since you've isolated your person, you could do other things to them too. If you wanted to, you could add a curves adjustment and this would just affect your person on the layers below. I could desaturate the background if I wanted to, so I could add an HSL adjustment, put it above my pixel and background layer, and I could desaturate it. So if I want to emphasize the main character, I could desaturate it like this. Now, one other little detail when using blur filters is you may notice the edges of your image. If I zoom in here, you see this transparency is coming in there. The way to fix that is to select your blur filter and then click preserve alpha. So it's going to fill in that area there. So if I zoom out, now you can see my edges are in much better shape. So let's look at our final result before, after, before, after. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.